guys what's popping it's Stephanie Samperu again back again with another video oh so today we're going to discuss well see today right now and before we get into anything I just want you to know this is for entertainment purposes only I've realized I'm talking like a rapper I need to start talking so I need to go slow I don't know why I talk too fast but then this is the, 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 the thing we're going to discuss my memes are not going to be focused entirely on politics, but politics we're still discussing. And there's this thing I saw, what was the meal when number Sirikali to test into approved points. And I just want to say, I get where they're coming from. Some of them are coming from a point of pain, shock. You know, they're going through a lot, man. They're trying to really get over the pain. But at the same time, I don't think it benefits any Kenyan if we lose just to say Azimio was right, okay? I don't think it benefits, enough, and it's not even important as a country to focus on that, because who does it? It doesn't benefit anyone for the country to, to uh, to engage with fuel, just like, they won't add, they won't increase the cost of living for UDA only. They'll increase for everybody, so let's be kind, let's give the government a chance, or whatever. Like, my God, Kylie is so hyper, and she keeps calling her, Kylie, mom. Can you tell the people to be kind? Yes, guys. So, let's just learn how to be kind. Do you want me to lift you up? Let's just learn to be kind. Let's just learn to, you know, Kylie. Kylie, mommy. What's wrong with it? Won't you just go and jump? Kylie is a cocker. She's so tough. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, let's just give the government a chance because it doesn't benefit anyone if the cost of living becomes bad it won't only be you i see jona mahali penye tumambua tukwangi uda wakue na id yao and azimio okay it's kenya for us all I'm going to be reacting to this meme and yes miezi tatu na anataki introduction kwa zazi wangu wenye mimi niliona bada ya miezi tisa this means well I'm, I'm thinking i'm talking to majority of you who know kiswaili so this is this is some um, sort of entitlement i think so i feel like i feel like a lot of women think being introduced to a family means anything especially when you're starting to date it gives you security by doesn't because guess what a guy can introduce you know their parents were very comfortable with their ch children uh, there's this guy in you his parents used to enable him so much such that he would introduce different girls every time and guess what Wakiachana hata mama kendo mama kendo wakoza kumwambia wasichana wasikupe stress and you know what this guy is even violent but the mom will say that so i don't feel like it's any kind of security to be introduced as okay three months is too soon because even you like three months is too soon unless you really joke with your family three months is too soon even i think i don't have children but i i do have my dog but i feel so uncomfortable going meeting someone i'm just getting to know for the, at least for the first even six months, I feel so uncomfortable going with my dog there because this is my sacred person. I don't want them to meet everything and everyone who exists in the world. Because three months, you're still maybe in the honeymoon period, just give it time, and you know, you'll get there. I mean, I feel like that hurry is not always necessary because how many people will you introduce? If you chose to introduce every person you dated for three months, how many people do you have introduced? Many relationships don't even get to the six month mark. Let's imagine Umanza could introduce what you I don't agree with it. I also think just take time. Ukitaka watu um introduce after his or nine months, even for the chicks. Because the person saying this, Mizi Tattoo, I feel like PI after Mizi Tattoo and as a quiet. Maybe I'll I'll introduce on the first day, but usually you'll end up introducing the whole country or the whole universe because you know, three months is too soon. Something else I wanna say because um we're in September and this September is take a man out on a date one. I have no idea who came up with that. I don't know if it's the men themselves. Hey, like it, it could actually be the men. But look at corner. Maybe they were looking for some sort of attention or relevance. Because I have no idea where that came from. But assuming it's true, September is a month to take a man or men out on a date. I love because of this definition. Not one date. It was not specified that it has to be your man so single people can participate. In short, you can even take your friends out. But I feel when I learn, the person who came up with this, uh, is, that, is this actually true? Because I don't think this is true. I have no idea if it's true. So if September is take a man out on a date, when is take women out on a date, man? Yeah, so um, this is take a man out on a date. Let me know if, how that goes. I actually feel like it's going to be very weird to be taking a... Unless, unless it's friends. 
imagine taking your guy out on a date <laughs> you know it could actually be nice so ladies this is your chance to flat shoot your shot yes shoot your shot <laughs> that guy you've been liking tell him hey it's september can we meet i'm gonna take you out on a date one because it is written but then don't say i wrote it because i actually don't even have an idea if that thing exists anyway guys so this is the end and i want to let you know be kind to each other mommy do you want me to lift you up she really likes attention she wants me to lift her up by a problem she's very dirty but then guys so this is the end of the video i hope to see you next time let me know your opinions let me know what i should change and everything i'm still starting so i'm trying to get the hang of things until next time you shall say goodbye to kylie because maybe next week i'll be coming out with another one right want to say goodbye to the people mom don't worry my dogs are vaccinated be kind bye bye